put them in. I specifically want to talk to the guys when we're talking about this, uh, when we're talking about what we're going to rely on in our lives. Um, when it comes to you having a career, I know this is like in the future, but I want you guys to hear this now because I'm probably going to harp on this for the next many years that I have you with me. Um, when it comes to you having a career one day, do not sacrifice your family for success. Okay? Do not sacrifice your family time to provide your family with stuff. At the end of the day, what they really need is you. Okay? Your kids will not need stuff more than they need their daddy. Your wife will not need a, a bigger house or a nicer car more than she needs a man who will lead her to Christ. Do not sacrifice your family for success. To get the next chain up on the ladder at, at your work, to get more money. Sacrificing your family, I see it happen all the time. I see men who are at the top of businesses, owning businesses, and have no family because they sacrificed them along the way. That's foolish. A man, a real man, is someone who leads his family to Christ. Period. No matter what you may think a man is, a man is defined by a man who will take up what God has called him to, and that is to lead his family to Christ. It's more than just taking your family to church for two hours a week. It's leading them in your homes. Every single day when you wake up, when you go to bed, leading your family in Christ. That's what being a real man is. Do not serve the God of this world. That's what God is saying. Do not serve the God of this world. Do not serve your job or your success or your desire to have money and stuff. Do not serve that. Serve God. Don't serve the stuff of this world. Serve the God of the universe. Lead your family as God has called you to lead. Okay? Now, to the ladies. Do not settle for a little boy who refuses to step into this. Don't settle for a little boy who will not step into leading his family to Christ. If you're dating a boy and he doesn't lead you to Christ, he's not going to lead you once you get married. He's not going to lead your family once you have kids. Don't fool yourself into thinking you're going to change him. Only Christ can change him. And if he's not leading you to Christ, you better, get, you better start leading him to Christ. Listen, if you're dating a boy and he's not leading you to Christ, you have no business with him. Period. And that starts right now. It doesn't matter how good he looks. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how funny he is. It doesn't matter how he makes you feel. If he refuses to step in and lead you to Christ, he's just a little boy who can shave. That's all he is. And he will be nothing more. Being a man is somebody who leads his family to Christ and is serious about that. And is willing to sacrifice everything to lead his family to Christ. That's what being a man is. Don't follow and don't serve other gods. Don't fall for these boys who talk a good game. Okay? Don't fall for that. If he doesn't lead you for Christ, you have no business with him. And guys, if you're not leading a girl to Christ, you've got no business to be with her or with any other girl to be on that matter. 